I'm Anil Kumar and here is a good question on derivative of functions. You've done similar questions while evaluating limits or rate of change in the previous chapter. The question here is, determine the equation of tangent line to the graph of y equals to x square minus 4x minus 5, which is parallel to 2x minus y equals to 5, right? So that is the equation. When we say determine equation of tangent line we need to find slope right S slope in our case slope is the derivative and here we are given that slope it says that which is parallel to 2x minus y equals to 5 so when I say that the line is parallel to 2x minus y equals to 5 then what is the slope slope will be let me rearrange so I can write y equals to 2x minus 5 and from here clearly we get the slope and we say slope m equals to 2 right so slope is 2 comparing the line with slope and intercept form now let's read the question once again it says determine the equation of tangent line on the graph of y equals to x square minus 4x minus 5 which is parallel to the given line so we know the slope but we don't know at which point will this tangent be on the graph of the given function. So the point is unknown. So therefore, we'll find derivative of this function at an arbitrary point A and then equate that derivative, which is the slope, to 2. So this is the strategy for us. I hope that's absolutely clear, right? So the idea here is we'll find f dash at a point a right uh, so that will be limit h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a over a and we'll equate this derivative to 2 that derivative is 2 so let me write this as 2 equals to the limit h approaches 0 perfect now what is a plus h a plus h is I have to replace x with a plus h so let's do that so we have a plus h whole square minus 4 times a plus h minus 5. That is f of a plus h, right? So this is the this is the first part, correct? This is the first part. And then we do take away f of a. Then take away f of a means replacing a, right? So take away we have a square minus 4a minus 5. Perfect. Divided by so let's expand and simplify now so we have uh, a square plus 2a h plus h square minus 4a minus 4h minus 5 minus a square minus 4a minus 5 over h as you know all these three terms will cancel out right so so don't have to think much just cancel and next step is very clear we have been doing it so many times h has to be common only terms which have h will be left right so let's check this out so 2a plus h square minus 4h that makes sense divided by h so in this we can always take h common and cancel with this okay so we have to limit h approaches 0 we can take h common so we have 2a plus h minus 4 divided by h so once you cancel h we know what the derivative is correct so we'll write this derivative on the right side and further solve the question okay so let me cancel this first h and h okay so that should give me limit h approaches 0 for the function is now 2a plus h minus 4 so now we have 2 is equals to all this that's the derivative right so let me uh, go to the right side and explore h equals to 0 here will give me 2a minus 4 correct so, so what I'm doing here is moving to the right side from here okay so we have this 2 hanging here right so that is the 2 so slope which we found parallel to the given line so that's the whole concept right 
that's the derivative general expression at any arbitrary point a so the idea is to find what a is we'll rearrange and find a so we get 2 plus 4 equals to 2 times a so which is 6 and so we get a is equals to 6 divided by 2 which is 3 so the point is a equals to 3 so that is the point for us now it says determine the equation so equation is means let it be y equals to mx plus b and here what do we know let's write down so what we know here is slope m equals to 2 and the value of x is 3 now when x is 3 what is y right we should find that also what is y so let me use this part of the page to do this okay so y will be equals to let me write 3 for x here so it is 3 square minus 4 times 3 minus 5 that is 9 minus 12 minus 5 and uh, that will give me minus 3 and minus 5 is minus 8 right so so x is 3 and y is minus 8 so I'll substitute these values right so we is y is minus 8 so we have minus 8 equals to 2x I mean sorry 2 times x is 3 I mean let me rewrite this so y is minus 8 so minus 8 equals to 2x x is 3 for us plus b so bringing it to the left side we get minus 6 equals to b and that is indeed minus 14 is b so we get the equation of tangent line which is y equals to slope of 2 and y intercept of minus 14 correct so that becomes the equation of the tangent line on the given parabola where the slope is going to be as you can see same as required perfect so that is how you should be doing such questions i hope that helps go through this video once again try to understand the concepts and then move forward thank you and all the best